Good. Is that it? Is good. that it? Good. It's three men and three telecasters. Welcome to three men and three telecasters. None of which is mine. Yeah. Well, ah. you're going to want one now, aren't you? Which one would you have? You can borrow mine. Which one would you take? Yeah, uh, Honestly. You should welcome us to the show, really, Dan. Hey, guys, welcome <laughs> to that fellow show. Dan here. Mick here. And, and Peter! Hey! It is so hot in this room as well. <laughs> it's so hot. And well, I think it's because of you guys. Yeah. It's so great to be here in... This wonderful room. In Shwangrila. In Shwangrila. <laughs> That's the best day ever. That's the best day ever. Shwangrila, I love it. There will That's be a t-shirt in due course. Good. There should Very be. Good. And I will wear it Pete, proudly. welcome. Thank you. Welcome finally. to the show. Finally, We're finally. Overdue. And um, <coughs> should, we, should, we, should we get the exciting thing out of the way first? Shall we? Yeah. The reason we've been waiting is because Pete has been working on something. Who's going to do it? Then? Oh, who's going to do it? Uh, I'll do it. Uh, 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 Simon's going to do it. Uh, Come on, Simon. Uh, we haven't got any symbols. Yay! Yay! And if you were wondering about the um, fabulous overdrive sounds all the way through that uh, intro there, that was... Five years. It was the Dane. It was the Dane. It was the Dane! It was the Dane! Oh, so the somebody's, great Dane. Copied, <laughs> somebody's copied Thorpey but made a smaller enclosure, is that right? <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness me, yeah, maybe somebody has. No, it is Thorpey. It's a Thorpey It game. is a Thorpey pedal. Check it out, new and closer. Look how small it is. It's very cool. Well, that's what you said, wasn't it? I've but deliberately, um, deliberately left a warthog on there so that you can see the difference in the size of the new enclosure. Yeah. So, Pete, exciting. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, for, for a long time, I've people have been approaching me and asking, Would, Do give you, you got tone. No, it's not about money, man. You no, know, no, it's not no. about money. But we will give you money. No, and if anybody will saying. give me money. Because <laughs> I've got sort of a... The way I like overdrives is, you know, I've found a few on the way that are really good, that I really like, like a light speed from, mm -hmm. from, from Greer. And, so it's a light speed clone, uh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not exactly that what it is. Uh, a little bit, but no, it's not. Um, you know, Yan Ray, all of these, uh, Timmy, yeah, all of these overdrive yeah, pedals, yeah. which have got loads of sort of... Oh, I hate this term. You know, you get it a lot. The you can use any term you want. This is that pedal. Transparent. Yeah. Organic. 
Yeah. Um, all of this different yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. which, you know. We know what you mean. Um, and, but I wanted something that looked different as well. And there isn't any pedal brand. There is, there's not many pedal brands out there that does something that looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. loved Thorpey's uh, pedals. Uh, and fair fantastic. play to Thorpey, what a great... What a great bunch of pedals he makes. Absolutely, Man. and what a great dude he is. Yeah, which yeah, is a, which, but he, I got a hold of one of the, after we did... Um, Italy. The, the Italy. Yeah. And you had Babadabobi. the... Babadabobi. 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 For anyone not keeping up at this point, this is Pete, <laughs> Danish Pete Honoré from Anderson's TV, among other things. Uh, <laughs> just in case we didn't do that, if you have been living under a brick... Um, and you don't know Pete, please go and check him out on Anderson's TV and his own stuff. Oh, yes. Uh, he is a super Amazing. talented uh, guitar <laughs> player and fine human being. It's <laughs> very you. difficult well, having you. one of your best mates on the show. Yeah, because it just <laughs> becomes chat chat and everybody knows everyone. Uh, but please check Pete out on the Anderson's uh, TV um, YouTube channel and the other stuff that he does. And he is from oh, Daneland. I'm from Daneland. It's absolutely. Hence the, the name. Dane. The Dane. The Dane. Uh, Dane. But so, you know, all of this. Uh, so... What was it, the veteran you had? And I was like, blown. Oh, we did a so video. We, right, we, yeah. we, so we were in, in Italy. Yeah. And we did um, guitar breaks. Yeah. And yeah, oh, I, had the, I had, you had it. Ian and guitar breaks. <laughs> and we had the, I had the, the veteran, the original one, the Germanium one. Yes. And you heard that and went. I heard that and went, hello. Uh, I, I've had a few encounters with you and the other stuff. But as you know, when we do these videos, especially on Anderson's, it's like in, out, in, out, in, out. And, you, yeah. and the stuff is in the shop, so you don't really get to play it very much and put it on your board. Stop with the nonsense, in, out, nonsense. If I'm trying to be serious here, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to be serious about some stuff that is f relatively serious. Another overdrive pedal into a flooded market already. Okay. <laughs> what? So, but so... I was like, this is amazing. So I was like, Thorpey, hey, let's chat about some stuff, you know. Um, and, well, I wish you'd just relax a bit more in video and be yourself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, it's, it's not like, like I haven't done a video before. I'm very nervous. So uh, anyway, so it just, he came up and we did a thing um, and we just started chatting back and forth. Um, and one day I just went, I took the um, a couple of his pedals, put them next to each other and went, this is really good. I'm really digging this much more than I remember when we did the video. Um, and That's we started, I and I said, <laughs> can, you, can you do this? Could you do this? Could you do this? And he was like, yes, I can do this. And then he said, you, we talked about the enclosure, and he was, you know, uh, revising, as you see in the Team Medic. Yeah. Is, so everything is now being put down in, in a smaller size box, so it'll, it'll be that kind of size Yeah, it's literally my one and only moan about Thorpey yep. pedals. Yes, but then... Like a pain to fit on the board. But... Not, any, not anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, but, you yeah. Know, it's it's oh, like yeah, yeah, it's not really that line. much bigger no, than no, no. a lot of other pedals. But it's not like a wah. It's not like you've got to make extra special compensation for it. But it that makes more sense to the majority yeah, of people. Yeah, it makes much more sense. Come and on, let's hear it. So, so let's hear it. We've got two exciting. Can things. Can I have my guitar back, please? Two I exciting love this, things but. today. One is <laughs> Pete's going to show us the pedal. And we're going to have a little play with it. Two is one thing. <laughs> one of the comments that comes up so frequently on that pedal show in I've the comment section is, could there be a comparison between these two Telecasters, which? I don't know, in our little world of YouTube are both very well-renowned Telecasters. Uh, th there is something there, isn't there? Mm. That comes up a lot. So these two Telecasters, I mean, we've just been playing, and to be honest, that is more like this is. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, uh, the, it's the... Yeah. Well, it's, it's got this balsa wood on the front. <laughs> it's got of the, the balsa wood and the frets on it. It's got frets on it, Mick. Um, so this is, a, this is my purple Telecaster, which is really awesome, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I should say that, didn't I? Um, with a twisted telly and a no caster, and it, people ask me, and I can't remember which way it's around now <laughs> completely. That's, that's the twisted telly. Twisted telly. I think that's, that's the twisted telly and that's no caster. Yeah. yeah, thank yeah. you for pointing that out. No worries. Right, um, and that's, that's it really. With this, Pete's got to pick his kids up from school at three p.m., which is why I'm hurrying things yeah. along a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll, and if, yeah. if he doesn't, they'll be like, and it will have like a whole row of little children standing there crying. Yeah, again. and I probably won't mind because which I'm with not. you guys. <laughs> you know, again. Daddy's been playing the guitar again. Um, amps that we've got set up here are Fender Super Reverb. Oh, which I love. And uh, the Audio Kitchen Big Chopper, which you... <laughs> you That's amazing. You oh, familiar, no. familiar I'm, a, with I'm familiar with this. Uh, what's, the, what's his name? Steve uh, Kitchen. Steve. Yeah. And we chatted like a long time ago before I started with Anderson's and everything. And, in the, and we... And Is he called saying, Steve Kitchen? Ste uh, no. Steve... Steve Not Kitchen. Yes, yeah, Steve Not Kitchen. I can't Steve Sitting Room. This. Yeah. <laughs> So, but I remember a long time ago because I saw it, it on somewhere, and I, I thought that looks really amazing. And then, I, uh, and then I 
was broken. The thing is, they're pretty. They're quite hard to come by. He seems to make them That's almost only for rock stars. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's an amazing album. Oh, it's I incredible. mean, they do sound. It's incredible. Uh, it's sound incredible. And uh, Pete uh, has set the loop uh, TC Ditto Looper, the little tiny one. Yeah, and that's running into the super yeah. but both but amps are on, and they both amps sound like this, Pete. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, there's a lot of reverb on there. Yeah, there is. Between. Check this out. Magic Teleday. Teleday. Ah, I see, there it is. So I like stuff to be very dynamic, you know, so you can play... ...full volume on, and right. then still go... So there's almost no drive there but it's still there, you know what I mean? Now that's where you want to use the lows, okay? So, so that so they do work independently. The drive and the boost. Yeah, section. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the boost is before the drive. Oh, you know? okay. So, really? boost into the drive. Oh, okay. Go on. Boost into the drive. Yeah. Do you not like that? <laughs> they don't like that. No, Dan <laughs> loves that. Love that. I think it's boost needs to go into the drive. Come on, then. right. Come on, then. come on. Right. So you get that. Uh, if you put the lows up. Creates headroom. And right from zero, it's already louder. I mean, it's the, the I asked uh, Adrian to turn the boost down because he was like, we need like 40 dB boost. And I'm like, it's way too much, you know. Um, <laughs> Because once you boost it into the... It, it's, it, it, it's, it's, compression it's, anyway. it's too much, yeah. you know. Yeah, so um, if we're running a gainy sound in this side then... So as soon as you get the headroom... It,
very nice. There's a lot there on the board I don't know. I mean, I... So the... <laughs> it sounded great! The way, I, the way I'm thinking this pedal, so a Hot Rod Deluxe, right? Because that's what we use a lot in Andersons. Right. So like V4 Deluxe or Hot Rod, you know, that's kind of the my go-to kind of amp. Um, to be fair, we've started using the Hot Rod Deluxe a lot more, and I'm, I'm surprised for that sort of money, it's fantastic. It takes pedals really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah, was yeah. my platform. That's to why work I see them from. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. If it, if if anyone in this day and age is making a pedal that doesn't sound good into a Hot Rod Deluxe, you want your Absolutely. marbles testing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, and that it can do that. It can give you that sort of. Oh man. A clean as a clean mm. boost. I like. Just with a little bit of that boost. It's a lot of, but it gives that it just it it gets the amp to bloom, and that was that was because I would maybe I run the boost on its own mm. just to give to leave it on all the time, and then have the overdrive kick in when I'm when I want to solo a bit. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily run the drive that hot. Um, let's try to. <laughs> When you yes, when you put fat. so when you it, it's I I because that's the one thing I really like about the light speed is it's very fat but it's mm. a but the light speed has got this sort of on it's almost like a loudness to it do you know what I mean it's mm. like it gets it's 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 like a loudness in your car you put a loudness on and that works when you're playing on your own it m might not necessarily come out as well in a in a band situation so you know I didn't want to create something and just copy something or whatever but I, I but there was something about that I like I like low end in my as you know yes you know um, and this has got it especially if you push the volume a bit into the amp it's like it's it, it just changed the amp completely mm. if you run it you need to run this quite loud as well and then it's yeah, like yeah. It, does, it, it blooms completely yeah it is not it's not I can't I mean we're messing around with it and then one minute it sounds it does there is a there's a nice vocal mid range to it, so it does a thing that a good like a tube screamer somewhere type. somewhere between a TS10 and a Clon it, it does that reasonably well. Yeah. Um, but then there's all that pushy gain in it as well. Yeah. I mean, you like a, Dan? Yeah, I do. I, I like how dynamic it is for that. Yeah, like yeah. you were saying before, the especially when you do no, 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 no. try to go try to go with this kind of setting, so you got the volume a bit louder. No, we we try not to push too much into the. The Apollo, but we've got that, and then just back off a bit on, on your top and when you're playing. So, So yeah. as soon as as soon as you push it, it there's more drive in it. So I I I would uh, I like to run it like this is how it. But it's this might clip. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. But. Get the a little bit more.
Yeah, so there's you know you have to right. once it's one of those there's one of those where you go uh, and then you go ah when you know how to play it. In a bit like a clone, it's got that thing. I, yeah, I don't right, get okay. it. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Some I people don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get I it. I get it. it. Oh, <laughs> flip me. There it is. Yeah, you know, and it's yeah, and yeah, I yeah. think that's got some of this, a similar thing. Um, and that's what I was quite trying to, to to get out of it. You know, and it's really cool to work with Adrian because he's just up the road basically and been up and down a few times, talked to him, but he mainly got it right on like, you know, because like, this nice. is this is what it is. He's really good at it. I, and everything I told him, he got he did from the beginning. It doesn't sound like any other Thorpey pedal though. That no, I, no, it that's doesn't. exactly no. what he said. It really some, and it, hey, you know, he said it's nothing like I've ever done at yeah, all. It's, it's not like very cool, said, man. You know, it's it's not like the gunshot. It's not you know, but it's inspired by those things because of course the. the I really like the Peacekeeper as a as a, mm. as a boost because it's got all of those EQs on it, but yeah. it's all too much. I just but I like l the lows. That's why we put the lows in yeah, there yeah. so you can get the really fat like bottom endy low things on your mm. guitar when you're playing on your own, which we do a lot in the. Yeah, and also you're you're not a fan, a bit like you, Dan. Neither of you are real big fans of high gain. Not and super think, high gain. As the gain gets higher, that's when you need to start taking bottom end out. But if you're mm. into those sounds that you really like, which yeah. are you know keeping lots of treble in there, very Fendery, Fendery amp, you can afford to have a, a lot of bottom end. Yeah, yeah, say John yeah. Mary kind of tone. <laughs> no, but when <laughs> well, he's let, playing all of this, this uh, yeah, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Before we do the battle of the Telecasters, um, <laughs> I, I, I want to hear it with some P90s and somebody pick up the yeah, Les Paul yeah. up and let's hear it with some. Um, yeah, yeah, you grab the. Grab let's the hear it with some. Humbuckers as well, and let's see what I'm we've got. Honestly, not used it with a Les Paul, but. It's loud, so it sounds great territory. <laughs> yes, but that's it. Woo, that hasn't played this before. And you can get it to that fuzzy with with uh, with like paths and humbuggers. It's almost like a fuzzy. You know, I'm not that kind of player, as you know. You know, I'm not, but. But I still like to let be me able play to. The, let me play the grissom lick. Oh, on it. You can play some grissom! Because if you play the grissom lick on it, then we'll know if it sounds fuzzy and horrible or not. I mean, so you can roll, that's when you can take the lows off the boost, right? So then you don't have it and... 
you know. But it's, there's a, there's enough drive for everyone uh, in there as well, you know, because I'm, I'm I can imagine a lot of people want more drive. You know, I'm not necessarily that kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's a really cool pedal. I'm it's really great, proud of that. You know, so have we done a hard enough sales job on that now? Then do you think? I think so. You should buy one. <laughs> Absolutely. And buy it. You can get it from Anderson. So that's it. At the moment, I think. I need Anderson's. Yeah, Anderson's and uh, Rich City. Yeah, your preferred retailers. Oh god, it, it's guys? almost like it's an inside job. The whole thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's almost like it's an inside job. You just take that pedal show's credibility and <laughs> kick it down the touchline. What little shred of dignity we had left, Dan. It's not even he's like he's our mate. I mean, what is this all about? Okay, enough of the in jokes. What enough the, of the in jokes. What the internet really wants to know is, what's best? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is best? The red one or the purple one? I mean. They're fundamentally different guitars. They're very oh, different guitars. Look at this is this is expensiveness already. No, I mean, oh, I, no, you play that. You no, play that for a second. You've, you've what, got some different pickups in here, right? What the internet I mean, wants to see is you both playing each other's guitars, and you got a sticker on there. I got a sticker on the back. Have a look. I've got oh, a little wow, flower. Oh no way! Yeah, yeah, my kids put stickers on it. Olivia put that on when she was three. So there you go. Oh look, now we're that's making ten years ago. Saying. I've got a Peppa Pig sticker on my Strat that's been there for. I don't know, seven years. <laughs> it's George. So, um, they're very different guitars. You yeah, put 11 on, you've got different pickups in here as well, haven't no, you? No, it's a different neck pickup, original bridge pickup. Okay. But I broke. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, I took the cover off because I was an idiot and I broke the pickup. And uh, that's a Don Mare that's in the neck. There's, m there's more output in this one, it feels. Yeah, I think, I think actually what I've done is I have the. No, no, actually, I thought I thought the bridge pickup might be a little bit closer to the strings, but it's not actually. No. See, so you've got I've the got flat pole broadcaster type. You've got the later staggered, staggered type. beveled edge. Now this is the other yeah. thing. It's got the beveled edge magnets on it. Okay. Which, um, for love and money, I can't find anywhere. So. Um, I can do that for you. I've got a little angle grinder. <laughs> I'm around any right, pick Pete, up you like. You've got to pick your kids up in 15 minutes. Oh my good <laughs> lord, sweet Jesus! <laughs> why am I? Why am I? Why am I doing this? You're um, <laughs> yeah. You gotta pick your kids up in 15 minutes. So come on then, Daniel. Let's get a sound you like. All right. Is that you? Two swap, things go really swap, well swap, together, swap, right? Swap, 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 swap. What, me play? No, 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 give Dan a guitar. Oh, okay. Sorry to be so bossy. <laughs> That's alright, I'm used to waiting. that. I'm used to it, mate. As far as I can hear right now in those pickups, whatever that is. Give us an open E chord, Daniel. Not, Maybe not, not so much. much. Not no. much it's more an EQ thing, isn't it? I like the front. More straighty. Every, everything you're saying Sorry. is the reverb decays won't make the end, right? Just so you know that. I know that, but we do it in a different way at Anderson, so we can make it work. <laughs> now that's a twisted telly. That's a twisted telly net, right? Yeah. So originally, this had a twisted. It was like a twisted telly thing. It's the longer poles, right? Yeah. And the, this is like the remake of the Custom Shop twisted telly. I think that these, the neck pickups were very similar. Yeah. 
And they are very stratty. Yeah, they're very stratty. Yeah. That's why I love the, these pickups. Very interesting. interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> That's a new t-shirt as well coming. Very, very interesting. So come on then, Pete. Dan has played both guitars. Yep. You play both guitars. Uh... <laughs> on the front pickup, sorry. Oh, I'm just gonna take that up. <laughs> I know, I, I'll tell you what this tells me. I need to put 11s on this. Yeah. There's nothing else because they're very similar, it's... but I can feel there's more tone coming out of those. For, there's something there. Oh, it's just... you just upset the whole of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Have I? Yeah. But this is what it's all about. Big strings don't sound better. Okay, so your guitar sounds better than mine. No, no, not at all. There's. Oh. There's a different. It's, it's, it's making it. It's definitely making the guitar resonate in a. Yeah, there's. In a there way. is something yeah. about those strings on there that are uh, also the way that I play it, maybe. But there's something there that is that definitely. When I get back to this, it feels a little. It's great. I, I like. I like what the heavier strings bring out. Yeah. It, especially in your in your. I think both of you as well. Something that's an interesting point that I hadn't really thought about in the past, but Josh Smith brought it up, or at least when we. When we had Josh Smith on the show, what a legend! I couldn't get any trouble out of his guitar. Oh man, Dad I couldn't get a note. I couldn't get the string on the fret. You could get a little bit more out of it, but when he plays it, there's enough treble for it. And both of you guys, I think, play in such a way that pulls a bit more treble out of a guitar. Oh, okay. And therefore, I think you can both get away with slightly heavier strings. Yeah. Because it does require a bit more effort to yeah, pull yeah, those high yeah, frequencies yeah. out. I think. It's a it's a pick thing as well. I think the way you what pick you use and how you it's what pick you use. Pete? I use just whatever. It's in my pocket. Oh come on! At the moment. What's your favourite? This is a Dunlop, but it's all different. I tell you, I'll show you. Look. Is that like a, is that nylon? No, it's a um, it's a prime tone, but a different oh, one. Right. Oh, I haven't, I haven't oh, seen this those. Is a, uh, so it's blue. Prime tone. Can seven, we can we get into this? Can we get down on that? These are all different, I mean, picks. So here's a here's a 1982 Fender original. Uh, How have you not lost that? I don't know. I don't even know what's in my pocket, but I just pick one out and I, I just play with it. But it's all different. You know, picks are all different. It makes such a huge difference to your yeah, yeah. To, to the playing. You can play. Your washing machine must be like some sort of roulette. We are giant. <laughs> <with a thousand laughs> making that noise. It's, museum. it's just everywhere. It's in my shoes. I mean, I got picks in my shoes and everything. So now I've got another one, but it's all it all sounds different. But I don't know. I just like playing. I mean, and it works. <laughs> we like the telecasters, right? Well, 
I mean, I, d I used to be a strat guy, but when I was about 11, when I just started playing when I was 10, this is now we're going back deep, all right? The school that I went to was this free hippie kind of school where there was only 50 students in all 10 years, like uh, 11 really? years. Yeah, yeah, it was a wow. very tiny little private school. Uh, which cost about seventy pounds a month, you know, for me to go to Ch Danish cheap. Anyway, and I remember because there was more time. There was like they gave me the keys to the music room and went, "You can, you there's something with you in music. Here's the keys. Anytime no you like to go, you just go and bang the drums or whatever." Wow. There was an Ibanez. Do you remember the Ibanez uh, guitars? Roadster. No, the the Telecaster when and the oh, yeah, yeah. The, when the they sued like, yeah, yeah. Okay. the lawsuit series. The, and there was this cream Telecaster, and I loved that guitar. And it, and it's maybe something, and I've tried to buy that guitar back since a long time for a long time. And I remember my teacher going, "Oh, you like the, the dark tone? You're gonna play jazz one day." And I, well, I'd never really played jazz, but I definitely liked that rolling off a little bit and that sort of lower tone, mm. and, and then being able to work the tone lighter as, or brighter as you when you play with the way you play it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. having you know, an instrument of uh, like with horns, because everybody liked the horn, uh, to to accentuate and stuff can come out. It, ah, difficult to explain. Uh, no, it's not. Telly's probably the <laughs> ultimate guitar for that as well, isn't it? Yeah, in yeah, terms of in terms so of dynamic, simple. it's very dynamic. Because you've got yeah, yeah. so much treble, you've got so much bass, yeah. and you've yeah. got everything yeah. in between. And yeah, it's you, the you ultimate it rock machine. Yeah, it's really cool, man. I mean, I mean, I've had lots of strats, and I I love strats, but I've got strats. I've got strats, they're multiplying. We do get quite a few comments from people going, oh, how do you guys make telly sound so good? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a certain, Don't I think it's a grown up guitar. No offense, I, is, that a, is that a bad I, thing to no, say? No, no, I think I, at some it point. Is, yeah, it I, absolutely is, because there's no trickery. Yeah. There's none of this. Trickery, cockery. There, there's no, no, not even, not even no. To forget about that. But it's there's a tone thing in it that you have to find. You have to be, you have to be a certain player to bring that out of a Telecaster. Yeah. But when you do, you can make that sounds like you can make it almost sound like a Strat. I remember making a conscious decision later in life. So I had I had a '64 Strat that got stolen in Australia, mm. and I had to do a gig that night, and I borrowed a friend's telly, mm. and it was so alien to it. And I remember the Strat because after every note, I was here with the Strat every mm. time. And I had developed no vibrato. Yeah. And and it's been uh, wow, it's been twenty years since then. And I'm still trying to develop vibrato. Yeah. But I remember making a conscious decision, saying, okay, I need to be able to do everything I can on on this. Yeah. Without and doing I, and it. I've without any ever since. I mean, vibrato is one of the most important things. Try to play a lick for me now and end the lick without playing any vibrato, it's just so as, just go bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Ew! Ew! Play another lick. Do the same thing. No. I, and and it's, that's really difficult to do, and that's about control in your playing. Once you in, yeah. you know, once you know how to to do the vibrato, once you get perfected your vibrato, because this is not cool, you know. And there's there's so many ways of touching it. It's like touching a easy, easy, <laughs> a small dog. And that's a, that's time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but. You know, and I, I, you know, we're not going to get into the whole my whole thing. Even even though I think a lot of people would like to hear my story of how I become, well, how I'm here. You know, we can do that some other day. Actually, when we do the pedal board, we've got something down here that needs a bit of help, please. At some it? point, where is it? Here. And I'm going to put. My oh, is it your board? Yeah. Oh, awesome! Oh, but fantastic! It's not ready yet because no, no, I no, wanted no, to put no. the Dane on it, and stop. I haven't. And <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> stop. But board is not ready yet. There's something in here, and uh, that we this awesome Smith Array board, Smith Smith, Smith Array. We need to. I need to. Okay. We talk. Well, we'll look, talk. I'll tell you and what. No, no. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. And we can do the story. We, we can do the story. By amazing chance, coincidence, and every other thing, you don't live far away from here. So we can get you back, and I will do your board for you because I love you in a very manly I love way. You. <laughs> I will do way. your board for you, and <laughs> and I want to get you back, and so we can go through. Do it properly. I'll, yeah, do it properly. I'll get your yeah. sounds up. 
Yeah. And, you know, because it's been... It's been so awesome having you on the show no. and to hear you play and finally get the get the, the tellies together. Yeah, I mean it's it's a, it's always a pleasure to hang out with you guys. You know that. And, and it, now that you live that this place is just five minutes from me, I'll probably be here too much. Should we just explain be... that everyone thinks that we're next door to Andersons? Yeah. The fact is, we're about a hundred miles away from Andersons, yeah. and Pete just happens to live down the road. Yeah. And it's really cool. And mm. uh, you know, I've been here more than lots recently, which has been great. Because these guys are awesome. Uh, but anyway, so uh, but anyway, thank you. we can do the whole story, and I'm sure there will be uh, as this Dane now is uh, out and available. When's it, do you know when um, it's out? N- now ish. When the video is out, it'll yeah, be out. Yeah, it'll yeah. It'll be it'll be ready to go. There'll be uh, I don't know. There's a hundred being built, probably two hundred. But it's you know I I'm not sure how it will do. It's a, I think it's cool. Uh, and it's oh, my mate, little contribution dude, dude, to... you're kidding, it's fantastic. Yeah, there's not even any it's... point making this video, you'll sell out in a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, but to be... F- uh, oh, God, no, because now it's, this is totally going to sound like a sales job, isn't it? It yeah. is really good. Anyway, anyway. No, loads of really headroom, yeah. loads of articulation. Well, look, we're, we're not, we're not going to... No. You've got to go, you've yeah. got to go, but let's... Um, we'll just say our thank yous, and up. then we're going to let you just have Schwang till the end of time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Massive thank you. Thank uh, you. Danish Pete for coming down. Thank you. So well, I cool. promise we're not trying to usher him out the door. He really does have to pick I his kids up I do need to go and get my kids. Doesn't... I can bring them back and we do the second yeah. part with all my kids trying to... His wife's on the phone going, you, you get him out of there before 3pm or I am going to kill you. Yeah, and I'm going to so... drop my kids off at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we are going to the pool. So I'm going to drop my kids off to the Sorry. pool. No, it's that's, really that's, random. That's but... an awful way of saying we need to lose. Yeah, to so say um, goodbye. Right. Thank so, you very much, guys. I love you. Thank you. Awesome. Massive thank you to uh, our preferred retailers in the UK and Europe is... Anderton. Anderton. In Guildfordshire. Uh, in the US of A. Uh, Rift City Guitar of New Hope, Minnesota, among other destinations. And in Australia. Would be Pedal Empire of Queensland, Brisbane, Brisbane, Queensland. And... Uh, Massive thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Also, if you if you fancy going to that pedal show store.com and uh, checking out some of our mm. wares. We got these ones in. Oh, they're nice. That's yeah, the they're sick, man. Hello, guys. Sick, bro. They're six, sick. 69 reissue t-shirt. And Pete has his own range of t-shirts and merch as well. Do not, Pete. Well, it will. It's on. if it's not now, there, now, it will definitely be. I've got a website, danishpete.com. Oh, cool. Uh, which is up and running. Come and check me out on Instagram, Mr. Peace Honore, and check me out on my own YouTube channel. I can push this now. Finally. Because this is me. Is I can finally you? say, actually, I've got some stuff going on on my own. But I, fantastic. You, are the, we are doing you are the worst best salesman in the world, because Pete also has a brilliant bunch of um, backing tracks. tracks available for iTunes. Thank you. How yeah, yeah, would yeah. we find those, Pete? Yeah, they are on the website. They are on danispeak.com, on bandcamp.com, iTunes, uh, Amazon, Google Play. Stuff like that. Just you Google. And one thing that you do that I think is very cool is you post videos of people that have downloaded your backing tracks and play along a bit, and you, you yeah you repost them. I think that is such a cool my, thing to great. do. On my Instagram, because I, I really appreciate when people take the time to do that, and you know, then it's for me, it's it's just cool to see. So I'm that's why I'm doing it. And there's so many good players out there, man. No, you I don't. Know. I don't need. I mean, you coming <laughs> is bad enough. I don't need to see any more good guitar players in my life. Well. I'm done with it! And here's another pedal for you. How about that? <laughs> oh, look, another note. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. I'm so going to go and get my let's, kit. let's set up a loop and then you just play for a couple of minutes. You, what? Come I mean, on, come on, dude. Have you not got enough? Show no, 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 no. Show us how you set a loop. Yeah. How, I don't, how do you work that? You don't know how to work that. I mean, right. get a, a Desert Island pedal is a looper.
Thank <laughs> you.